Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing another kit that I got off of Amazon. This is the Tamika Dip Kit. This kit I paid $29.99 was the price for the kit. I paid $31.79 with tax. So that is four jars of dip powders and four of the dip liquids. This is kind of a nude to black color. So you get a nude, a brown, a gray, and a black. So my girl Marla Chris actually recommended that I try this kit out. I told her I was kind of looking for some, you know, a couple more kits off Amazon to try out that were, you know, below 50 bucks. And she asked me if I tried out the Tamika kit and she told me that I needed to. She also did a review of Tamika, so I will leave that linked up here in the cards for you so you guys can go check that out. So included in this kit, you get the little information guide. You get a little happy, not happy card with little email addresses on there if you have any issues. You get the dip liquids, the four half ounce jars of powders, and you get a couple nail files and a orange wood stick on steroids. <laughs> So the spongy side here is a 180 grit buffer. Here is a flimsy 150 240 grit file that I guess you could use on your natural nail, the 240 side, but I like a thicker file. So I don't think I'm going to use that. So you do get a little dust off brush that you will see here in a second, but I'm just going to show you a size comparison of this orange wood stick. Not that it makes a huge, huge difference, but it's huge. Marla said in her video you can make kebabs with this and yeah you could. <laughs> so I went ahead and swatched the colors off camera and I'm gonna go with the black because black's my jam. It's my favorite color and whenever I get a new black I have to put it on my nails. And I look for three things in a black dip. One I want to see if it's gonna be fully opaque, full coverage, and two dips. I want to see if it is going to stain the hell out of my hands, you know, my sidewalls underneath my nails. And I want to see if it's going to have any funky, weird blue, purple, gray undertone to it, which is what I find in a lot of dip powders. So here I'm just doing my weirdo sniff test like I do with every new product that I get. Yes, I sniff the dip powders also. Um, which I have noticed, not all dip powders are created equal. Some have that acrylic smell that I look for, and some have a weird sweet smell. And usually when they have the sweet smell, they don't work. <laughs> so I do feel like I actually learn a lot just within the first five minutes of sniffing the products. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my basic application, of course, using the Tamika base that was included in this kit and going from cuticle to free edge and then dipping into the black powder. I'm going to say I really like this base. I am surprised that for 30 bucks, a kit for 30 bucks, that the base is this good. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's actually kind of close to what the consistency that I would look for in a dip, dip liquid is. So I was really surprised with how good this base performed. Dip powder so far seems to be full coverage on first dip. I did experience um, a little bit of staining, but we'll see how it plays out. So I'm going to let you guys watch me continue to do my dips of this black by Tamika. Of course, I will leave everything that I am using linked in the description below with the exception of my e-file because I can't find it nowhere. <laughs> but I will let you guys watch me do my application here for a bit and I will pop back in in a second.
All right, so my first dip is done and now I'm gonna go back in for my second dip. And as you can see, as far as pigment, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good for a first dip in a what I would consider a cheap black considering you know I paid thirty dollars for this kit that's what I would usually spend just on the dip liquids so I'm gonna go in and do my second dip as you can see I do have some staining I am gonna show you my little trick for how I remove the staining but you know I don't really it doesn't mean that I don't like the dip powder if I do get some staining. It's pretty common with a dark black or gray or navy blue. It's just those more pigmented powders tend to stain. It's something within the powder. Just, it loves you so much and doesn't want to leave. <laughs> so I am going in, applying from cuticle to free edge, dipping into the powder, dusting off excess and then cleaning up. I do tend to spend more time cleaning up when I do black just because I'm trying to prevent some of the staining, um, which is another reason I wanted to test this kit out with the black because it is a good test to the base. So as you can see, you have a good amount of time to really clean up your sidewalls and cuticle area, which means it's not a quick drying base. So I think these would actually be good liquids for beginners and especially since they are cheap. <laughs> I haven't had any problem and I kept this set on for 10 days. No chipping, no lifting, no nothing. So as of right now, I really like this whole entire kit. So I will let you guys keep watching and I will be right back.
So my two dips in the Tamika Black are complete and I'm gonna switch over to my dust off brush just cause the small one's just not doing it for me. So I'm gonna switch to my bigger one. I'm going to Cap in Clear. Um, and I'm gonna use my Zooty Clear cause this is my new all time favorite clear. And wait till you guys see it over black. Especially when the activator hits it. Oh, so good. Wait till you guys see. So I'm going to cap and clear and you can be mesmerized and just watch the clear melt right into this base and black dip underneath. I will leave links to the Zooty clear as well if you are interested. It is a little bit higher on the price point. It is $10, $9.99 for a half ounce jar. But you know what? You deserve it. Treat yourself. <laughs> so I will let you guys... Watch me cap in clear here for a bit. Look at that. You can just watch it melt right in. I love this zooty stuff, I swear. So, <laughs> now I'll let you guys watch and I'll be right back.
All right, so all my nails are encapsulated in my invisible zooty. Now I'm going to go in with the step three, which is the activator. Whoops. <laughs> and I'm going to apply two coats as normal. Look at this activator though, you guys. Marla was right. I've never really seen a big difference in activator, but I don't know. This just seems to make everything seem brighter. Like it just seems to work better than other activators it did seem to actually make my nails cure faster so i don't know what they have in this stuff but this may be my favorite activator which i didn't think i'd ever have a favorite activator because i thought they were all pretty relatively the same but look the zooty clear over black is amazing look how black they are that before top coat it's crazy so I'm gonna finish up activating. I'm going to let it sit for about two minutes. Like I said, doing two coats of activator, letting it sit and cure and get all nice and hard for two or three minutes. I am going to file and buff off camera, um, but I am gonna show you my little trick with my e-file as to how I kind of get some of that staining off. So they have set for a couple minutes and this is my cuticle ball bit it is safe to use on your skin it is a really gentle gentle bit it doesn't have any teeth or anything like that and I'm going to use this on the slowest speed on my e-file as you can see I am gonna put it at about a five or six and I, this is going to get that staining right off so I'm gonna let you watch me do a little bit of cleanup here and I will be right back. All right, so I did all of my filing. I'm gonna try out the buffer side of this file that was included in the kit. And I'm just gonna say, I actually really, really like this buffer, this sponge buffer. Um, I feel like I could get it really close to my cuticles and really seal everything in. I like that it's that zebra or banana style buffer as opposed to the huge you know rectangle buffer block um, but since i am doing dip top coat i'm just going to buff my nails up really quickly although honestly whenever i'm doing black gel i tend to buff my nails black gel whenever i'm doing gel top coat over black i do like to buff the surface of my nails just a little bit just to remove some of the scratches that my e-file makes so I am doing a little bit of designs here on my middle and my ring finger. So I am applying my Model 1's gel base coat to 
my middle and my ring finger because I'm going to play around with some new gel paint that I got. So I'm going to let you guys watch me do my base coat here. I will cure for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. All right, so base coat is cured and I got these gel paints off of AliExpress a while ago. So I'm just gonna do some simple white polka dots here just to add a little something to the black. So I'm just going to get it opened up and I'm just using a dotting tool for this, not using anything special or anything like that. So I'm just going to take little amounts and I'm just going to dab them off into the lid just so that I don't have too much. And I'm just going to make some random polka dots in, in on my nails. <laughs> so I will let you guys watch me dot up my nails here for a bit. I'm going to cure them for 60 seconds and I'll be right back.
right, so I cured the gel and I applied my Model Ones gel top coat and cured that for 60 seconds off camera. And now I'm going to apply a, another coat of activator to my three other nails to do the dip top coat. And I thought it would kind of be cool to see the difference in the Tamika dip top coat next to the gel top coat that I have on my accent nails. So I'm going to apply my activator, let it sink in for two minutes. And I'm gonna do a quick swipe of alcohol over those three nails just to remove any excess activator and prevent my brush and liquid from getting contaminated. I'm just gonna go in with a dry paper towel and dry that off. And I just wanna make sure that my nails are nice and dried off so I don't risk contaminating my liquids or my brush and then I will get set up to do my dip top coat. As you can see, it did stain just a little bit, um, but it wasn't too, too, too bad. So just going to get a clean, dry paper towel so that I can wipe my dip top coat brush off on in between my layers. And my first layer is gonna be a quick two to three stroke application. I'm not getting real close to my cuticle. I'm not worried about capping my free edge i will do that on the second layer so i will let you guys watch me do my top coat and i will be right back So I let the dip top coat dry for about mm, five minutes. I like to let it dry a little bit longer when I'm doing cuticle oil, but I don't see a huge, huge difference in the dip top coat and the gel top coat. So I'm really impressed with this top coat. I was overall impressed with everything in this kit. So now I'm going in with my Tropa Y Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil. Smells just like Hawaiian Tropic sunscreen it's so good so perfect for summer i have a link for candy skincare as well if you want to check them out but let me know what you guys think of this manny um, i hope you guys enjoyed it i appreciate 
you watching it and let me know if you want to see anything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.